Are you sure about this, kid? The Skullgirl is no laughing matter. We're strong now. A real team. Even so, I ain't so sure we stand a chance against her. We've got to try, Samson. I need answers, and this is the only way. Philia, we meet again. But why? We've met before? Tell me, Skullgirl. Who am I? I only know one thing about you, Philia, and it is the only thing I need to know. Medici blood flows through your veins. The blood I have sworn to spill. This is it, kid. What you gonna wish for? I need to make this wish count. I know enough about myself now to know that memories don't matter. What's done is done, and it's time to move on. But Carol, what happened to her is my fault, isn't it? Even if I can't remember it. So... Skullheart! I wish for Pain Wheel to have a normal life again! Your wish is pure. Almost. Healing the broken girl is noble. Yet, you seek absolution for your forgotten guilt. Your transformation will be slow. Make the most of it. Quiet now, everyone. Before we begin, I'd like to introduce our new transfer student, Miss Painwheel. Hmm, must be foreign. Hi, everyone. My name is Painwheel. I just moved here from the labs, and I like sewing and puppies and walks on the beach. Alright, Skullgirl. You know why I'm here. I do. 
So, no offense, but you're the last thing standing between me and my family. So let's get this show on the road! I too have lost much to the Medicis. Do you not seek vengeance? Wishes such as yours rarely turn out well. I've got to try. The Fishbone Gang raised me, protected me, and taught me everything I know. The least I can do is return the favor. Your instincts are admirable. My wish was also to protect my friends. Look, I'm gonna have to stop you before you get to the we're a lot alike, you and I bit. I've come too far to turn around, so it's time to claw that heart out of you. So be it. I hope your wish turns out well. This is it. I... I can't do it. I have so many new friends in Little Innsmouth. Terrible as it was, what happened happened. And made me who I am today. Changing that would be... wrong. That's what the Skull Heart is here for, isn't it? to tempt this into doing the wrong thing. Marie said her wish was similar. And look how she turned out. This stops here! A temporary setback. This world will always be cursed by a skull heart. And so shall it always be cursed with skull until this world exists no more. Hmm. All that for a life lesson? How annoying. Well, better go check in on everyone back in Little Innsmouth. Get some food. I'm exhausted. Union! I'm starving! No! Minette has been- What? That's where I come in. The River King hired me to find his daughters. So if you have any information that might help, proprietor, that's the only lead we've got. But kidnappings, we're at a loss as to why they'd be targeting... The Mafia! Maybe Marie had it right all along. Urban, I'm coming with you. Those black-hearted bastards already took one family from me. And like hell, I'm going to let them do it again. Hang in there. Think about what you are doing. Lorenzo is on the run, and his empire is vulnerable and in disarray. Don't throw away our only chance to break his grip on New Meridian. 
I'm sorry, I... Squiggly! Behind you! You were given another chance, yet all you do is disappoint. What? Philia, you're helping us? Yeah, we are. So can the high and mighty crap. While the assistance is appreciated, your ill intentions are an entirely separate matter. We'll worry about the heart later. Let's team up and take care of this monster! I would be delighted. But whatever you do, don't let your guard down. This foul thing is brimming with the same power as the Skull Heart. That girl is an audacious sweetly. Knowing that, do you still want to- I'll let her actions speak for her, not you! Come on, Samson! Let's make a good impression! Right on her faces!
But he let the world know he came out unscathed, while the Contiellos were silenced. Even today, 14 years later, your family's fate deters others from standing against Lorenzo. I've heard enough! You slay me! I'm not sure what to say. I didn't know any of this. It doesn't matter. What's important to know is that the heart can never bring happiness. Not for you, your friend, or anyone else. Lorenzo fought a Skullgirl before, but he never ran. Something else has hurt him. He's been weakened and he won't last. For everyone else's sake, I hope you are right. But I suppose you would be the one who would know. It would appear we've become quite inseparable. I will remain by your side until you next awaken. Thank you. Eventually, the Medici will realize I don't have the heart. Before that happens, I could use that delicious cat to lure Lorenzo out. Or... Bath time's over, Neferu! There is no way we will remain idle as you spin your web once again. We've come to put an end to your machinations. I expected you two to show up. Though this is perhaps sooner than I had anticipated. Let me guess, the corpse doesn't have much time left. This won't take long. It's for a- <laughs> Don't we count? I don't think they care about us, friend. I admire your resolve, but you must know the true strength of a Theon lies in the bond with their avatar. Being the case, it's more like four against one. But think a little before you mistake that for an advantage. All you are is a monster from the inside out! You are strong and scary, but Samson is strong too, and I can handle scary! Only a perfect fool could fail to recognize the face of divinity. Watch and learn! Get out of here! Something big is about to happen! Let's rock! you have done enough. Grind you in the dirt. It's not so bad. 
than I expected. But death is the fate of all mortals. Albus, take her to the crypt. If the skull heart returns, she will awaken. A crude alarm we can make use of. I'll find her a guest room. It'll be cramped, but uh, those chambers have a certain old world charm. As for you, Philia, Samson deserves a better host, one who can help him see the world more clearly. Don't you touch her! I don't believe you're in any position to do a thing about it. But for now, we'll let you keep him company until we find someone more suitable. As much as I enjoy these games, their scale is far too small. It is time for a new kingdom and a new age. This world so badly needs a wake-up call. Shall I prepare the car? No, I'll be going out on my own tonight. Civilization has made so many advances, but some problems are eternal. A strong leader is always required. I will remind them who stands at its apex. I'm going to put on a show for the whole world. And as usual, the Medici will supply me the stage. Let them all bathe in my glory. Were you not told? This is not over. I sure hope Peacock isn't dead. I'd whoop you either way, but I'll enjoy it more if I'm not distracted by rage. You mean Patricia? No, I did not kill her. I could not. But for the sake of destroying the ones who abused us, I was forced to deal with her. And now you have to deal with me! Don't you mean us, Big Blag? Peacock? The one and only! Patricia? You intend to battle me again? That first go-round was just a warm-up, old pal. Now that I got my backup band, it's time to jam. You both want the Medicis to pay. Why then must you fight me? The Medicis are run-of-the-mill street trash. But you, there's no bigger threat than a skull girl on the loose. Nothing personal, but these days I have just one job. To stop your heart from beating. Turns out we got hired by the same employer. They ain't too picky. It's skull girl season! Once, at the orphanage, you tried to save me. But I won't hold back this time. That's why I gotta do this, Marie. You're losing control. Then come, 
If you dare. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for my greatest hit. Every time you destroy this vessel, another will appear. There is no purpose to your actions. I shall always return. So what? see it. Getting beat by the Skullgirl was just a reality check. The next one is gonna hurt even worse. It might even kill you. If you want to survive it, you better learn your lesson and learn it good. I ain't a big fan of reality pops. The lessons put me to sleep. Give me cartoons in it. Sometimes you gotta be taught your limitations the hard way. The good news is that you don't have to face reality alone. The truth is you never stop learning. I got a refresher today, too. Pain Wheel and Peacock, and others like them, need somebody to keep them on track. Might as well be me, right? I'm not dumb enough to think this is a happy ending. Ain't no such thing. The Nun, the Nurse, and the Skullgirl ain't the only shadows falling on New Meridian. We're gonna need those girls if we don't want to lose the last of the light. Seeing the Skullgirl trash my city and kill my comrades? Taking her down wasn't for revenge, but it felt good just the same. This city and me, we've been through a lot. New Meridian, it's not what he used to be, but neither am I. Yo, Bandcamp, you ever think about publishing your stories? We could call them defective comics. Nah, I don't want to steal the spotlight from you. We wouldn't even have to change the title. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. I 
know you're down here, naughty of fortune! You can't run any longer! The pharaoh you seek is not here. So you're the Skull Girl. You've hurt a lot of my friends, you know. Strange. You are pure. At least compared to the company that keeps you. But your masters, the Medicis, must never be allowed to claim the Skull Heart. To eradicate them, I must eliminate you. I am sorry. Die. of the Skull Girl's power. Forget the wish. I need to find that thief and bring her back to Vitaly. Thanks for dealing with Marie for me, Circus Girl! Let me go! I've got to avenge my friends! No! My family! With one wish, I can end the Medici Mafia! I can't let you make that wish. That's my family you're talking about now! With or without my wish, I'll destroy them! As long as the Life Gem's power flows through my veins, no one can stop me from avenging the Fishbone Gang! Flows through your veins, huh? Well done. You've exceeded my greatest expectations. That mangy cat burglar won't be bothering us anymore. The Skull Girl has been defeated, and the Life Gem is back in Medici hands. Our empire will be truly everlasting. Soon, even the Royal Renoir family will be no match for the Medicis. And it's all thanks to you, Cerebella. Patricia, you should not have come. Do not worry about me. My quest is nearly at an end. Oh, please! Don't worry about you! Some hellish MacGuffin has turned you into an undead killing machine! And I was created to stop you! There's no way you can beat me! So of course I'm worried about ya! Look, Patricia. You will understand. Whoa! Is that... him? So 
who all these people are. Evil. From the slave traders of Ramograd to their patrons, the Medicis. All must perish. Patricia, please leave. I cannot guarantee your safety much longer. You know I can't do that. It must be taking everything you've got to fight that thing inside you. One of these days, you'll slip up and you'll be just as bad as those guys. Or worse. You leave me no choice but to beat you down, blow you up, and rip the skull heart right out of you. Let's hope there's enough of you left that we can sit down with some pie together when this is all over. Okay? trying to put up a fight. Now, about the skull part. Who needs wishes? I'm already the strongest there is. Foolish child. Do you really think this is over? Right, Marie? Right, Patricia. I'm sorry I ran away that day. You stood up for us, and I ran. When I found the Skull Heart, I thought maybe I could make things right and punish the people that did that to you. You're good. You'll always be my friend. Got it? That makes me happy. Tell you what. I'll pick up where you left off. Now that I beat you, save the day, and it's rerun season, I don't have much to do. So why not? Well, that, and bloodying those mafia fools sounds like a hoot. That would be wonderful. Thank you, Patricia. It was good seeing you, one last time. to experimenting on children now. My, how the mighty have fallen. Cram it, Granny. I don't want to rush you, but let's get this over with already. I've been slaughtering your goons all night. I'm missing my stories, and I need my beauty. 
Then let me tuck you in for your final bedtime. Skullgirl! I'm here to destroy you! How curious. Evil people made you into a monster, but you broke free of their control. Yet you still wish to do their bidding? This is my choice! Brain Drain, Valentine, this cursed blood within me, I don't give a damn! Tearing you apart is the only true path to freedom! Why my life was taken from me. You poor miserable child. I can return your life to you. Freedom is an illusion. This changes nothing. It's over. I can go home. It's me! Monster! Get out of here, monster! Feng Wheel, return to Lab Zero. We have much to discuss. Think you can control me? The truth is, you're next! Ironic. 
You plan to fight me. With that, a corpse's arm. I thought you and the dead were best buds. Seems appropriate. You comprehend nothing. I have only sympathy for Grendel. You exploited him during the war, and even now, you still do. You're right. I know the truth now. It wasn't a fair fight. But Grendel, he's my partner now. Has been for years. That's why I'm gonna make things right. By taking you down. Maybe after that, the big guy can rest in peace. Is that supposed to make you feel better about what you did? A hollow sentiment. In truth, you fight for glory. But you have picked the wrong fight this time. You will find only the grave. Of your strength is borrowed. I can take that advantage away from you, and I will turn it against you. Damn! Things can't get worse than this! Foolish meal! Become food for the dragon! Tag team? Harsh. Guess I set that one up. with me, shape shifter! Don't bother looking at the heaven star, child! This is your end! Just like old times, you get used and abused, and I stumble my way into the hero role. Get the past. Let us settle this as warriors. The Skullheart! Beowulf! Smash it! 
This one's for Grenzo! It's Snooper! Monster! I'll see you again, child. Hope you can rest in peace, big guy. Or this peace if you can, anyway. It's over. For a while, anyway. Sucks, but the fight never really ends. No matter how long I go on. Man, it's really hitting me now. You are the same Annie I knew back in the day. That stuff, that's real. You finally got it. See, that's kind of my thing. This is what I do. The show? It's almost funny. The writers make up stories based on the folktales that came down through the generations. The same ones that are based on my actual life. It's kind of weird playing yourself on television, isn't it? I hear that. You would, wouldn't you? You know, Beowulf, I misjudged you. You're kind of an idiot, but not a bad guy. In fact, you remind me of somebody I used to know years ago. Somebody who helped me when I needed it. Hmm. You know, that isn't a half bad idea. Right on! Um, you lost me. Well, let's just say that when it comes to my show, what I want goes. It's more popular than ever, and so am I. What do you say to coming back? As the bad wolf man? No way. You may not be cut from the same cloth as me, but you should at least get a chance to play a hero on TV. I think... you've earned it. You might be a schmuck, but you helped me find my way to the heart of this little problem. With my strength and your green hair, we make an unbeatable team! Close enough. Get him, Beowulf! This show doesn't make any sense! Who is that idiot? Didn't he used to be a bad guy? Who cares? As long as they're a sweet, sweet toy! What the heck are you guys talking about? done nothing. She was too weak to rest the heart for me herself, so we waited. She reminds me of an old friend. Then let her go! I can't. Her bond with the heart drains her life as we speak. It cannot be stopped. Unless someone takes her place, the only way she can live now is as the Skull Girl. Can we get ice cream, Mama? I'll destroy you, monster! Such violence. Have you learned nothing from your father's mistakes? Oh, <laughs> 
umbrella. No! Damn it. She's too close. If I shoot the heart, she'll die in the explosion! There's no other way, then. Skull heart! I wish my sister will never become the Skull Girl! Your sister shall be spared. And in time, you shall take her place. Are you okay, Umbrella? Come on. Get the cereal. Sleep well, sis, because tomorrow we start your training. Yeah, 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 yeah
Initiating unprovoked dialogue with designated adversary. Most flesh bags can choose their own purpose while I am trapped within my program parameters. I am not even sure if my creator was thinking straight. Can the skull heart grant my desire to shed these flawed constraints? I accepted the skull heart in hopes of challenging a world run through with corruption, but it is part of an even greater monster that binds me to its will. The only purpose of this so-called artifact is to spread death. Even if it proved compatible with that mechanical body, it would sooner corrupt your wish than fulfill it. What am I fighting for? Also, did you just give away a major plot point? Don't worry, nobody will think any of this nonsense is canon. Now, let us act out our existential angst as this genre demands, in an ostentatious final boss battle. Curse this beautifully tragic destiny, beep boop meow. My machine heart is filled with sorrow and hype. wish is made, the tragedy of the Skull Heart will be repeated. Destroying the Skull Heart only resets the seven-year cycle. Luckily, my creator's plans have taken this into account. Oh? Are, Are you sure his flawed human decision-making won't ruin anything along the way? B. Retrieving objective and returning to lab. This should be interesting. Creator, I have apprehended the power source. You succeeded? I mean, of course you did. I built you after all. Never send an organic to do a machine's job. People, your brain is organic and has the most important job of... Moving on! At last, we can construct the next generation of machine! A new form that will surpass our own! Brain Drain's gruesome experiments, powered by the Skull Heart itself, gave rise to a new threat. Without a Skull Girl to hunt, Robo Fortune and her successors concluded human fallibility was the next threat that had to be heard. Nobody was safe. No! Annie, where are you going? Umbrella, we have to go now! Annie, 
We can't fight this many! Doc's got a point there. Then let's do our darn best to slow them down! Increase in sodium chloride detected. Relieving blood pressure via cutting lasers. It is for your own good. Beep boop meow. Did they just do our job for us? Yes. Yes, they did. Yeah! 
Sorry, Marie. I quit. We knew this day would come. It was inevitable and inconsequential. Destroying Lab 8 and Project Peacock was all that was required of you. Glad there aren't any hard feelings, then. I know what you really are and why you're here. You're nothing more than a pawn, just like me. But you let me get too close. Even if I die today, my research will aid the labs for generations. You got that? We're coming for you and your masters, monster. Count on it. Enough.
There, it's done. Now, what should I do with the Skull Heart? I can't bring back the last hope. I know how those wishes turn out. I'm heading deeper into enemy lines, and I'll be waiting for you, Pain Wheel. Skull Heart, I wish to become the Skull Girl! Our masters are displeased. Yes. I have nearly cut the Medici cancer from the heart of this city. Once that is complete, I will do their bidding. They are tired of waiting. You exist for a single purpose. As you deny your purpose, they deny your continued existence. I will not let you stop me. a joystick. 
a device that fell in from the 21st century. I find it helps me trace the branching threads of fate on the other side. A joystick? With a name like that, you'd think it'd be a bit more... exciting. Maybe you're doing it wrong. What if I... Calm down, sister. You'll have your fun in due time. Girls, dinner's ready! Stop playing and come eat before it gets cold! One second, mother. I just need to save my game. Before we go, I'll tell you this. Each branch is a history that might have been. However, there is one timeline where all the threads converge. Including our own. Now that sounds like fun. I can't wait to get out of here.